What's going on guys? Killer Gaming PS here. And today I've got you a garage tour. It, this garage tour is after the patch of 1.37. And this garage, or all three garages, have cost me up to about $200 million. 200 GTA dollars. 200 GTA dollars. 200 million GTA dollars. So this is, this is you know, my life earnings on this game. <laughs> Alright guys, so we'll enter the office straight away, and then we'll go straight down to Garage 1. Garage 1 includes all my supercars. So we'll have a look in there first. We'll go in first person for this guys, so you can all have a look. And if there's any certain colours which doesn't look like you can get on... Uh, the GTA customs then just tell me in the description and I'll tell you how I exactly got that colour so you can use it for yourselves guys now all the cars that I do own they're not all fully maxed out on all the all the looks most of them are but most of them are just so I enjoy it not everyone you know I haven't spent lots of money on every car I've just made it so I enjoy it there's the Zentorno guys. And the RE7B. And the 811. And the Saline. I don't know what it's called on here. The Tyner. The new Bugatti. And the ETR. We've then got the T20, another RE7B, a new car, the Tempesta, the new Skyline, Elegy Custom Res Retro. We've also got the Custom Comet, the FMJ with a modded colour on it, which I can tell you how to get, and the Cyrus. And then on the top floor, guys. We've got another Elegy for the Skyline Converted. We've got a Buccaneer Topless. We've got another Bugatti Veyron, on the new one. A 4GT. The Vaca. A Bugatti Veyron, Standard. And the Entity. Alright guys, so I'll take you to my next garage. All the way down these lovely steps. So guys, this next garage consists of all my motorbikes, I think. I think. I think. And here's all my motorbikes. So first off, we've got the Batty. Now... I'll do a racing video, but I recommend everyone, I mean everyone, buy the Batty because it is the best bike you can get, especially with the new stunting, uh, the new stunt races, it, it's just the best. And for gliding, if any of you want to glide, I recommend that bike. We've got the Fagio Sport, the Sovereign, and uh, I can show you some of the cough guys. When I ride my Sovereign, I like to wear this outfit guys <laughs> and we've also got the vortex the manchairs now this bike is it is amazing and uh, I'll be doing a video very soon so if anyone wants to be in the video then just hit me up on Twitter Facebook or or YouTube and then the last one we've got the one of the newer bikes it's the Diablos custom all right guys so we'll go upstairs And straight away we've got the Sanctus, a very nice bike. We've got the Avarice. We've got the Damon. We've got the Hakachu Drag. The Cliffhanger. The BF400. And then the Gargoyle. The, 
this one, the the cliffhanger and the gargoyle are one of my favourites. Both of them are my favourites. I do enjoy them. And they're nice and easy to ride. And in the snow as well, very nice to drive. We've then got the brand new motorbike, what's came out today or tomorrow for you guys. It's the FCR 1000 Custom. And I've kept it like a military bike, but with my own twist on it. We've got a Skyline in the garage. In the garage for the bikes. And we've got a quad bike, but the quad bike's a bike quad. So, so yeah. So we've got the Blazer. Uh, we've got the Nightblade. Now, this was my favourite. As soon as the Bikers update came out, I was like, yeah, purple, black and green, sorted, done. No one's going to use this colour. The next day, everyone in my crew has got the bloody same colour. <laughs> but, um, but no, that is a nice bike if you've got the money for it. We've then got the Defier. Or however you call it, it looks exactly like the Vortex, so I don't, you don't really need to buy it if you, if you like that. We've got the Bagger, the same car as, um, I mean, motorbike, as Franklin on the campaign missions, and then we've got the Zombie Bobber, which is, it is very nice. You can't do that much on it, but it's got the looks, and uh, if you're in a motorcycle crew, then it does kind of, it works if you're a uh, prospect. All right, guys, so we've got the final garage to go to now. Garage three. Now, this one consists of sport cars, motorbikes, maybe a couple of supers and a couple of rare cars or cars that I don't really get out that much. So this car has a story behind it. This is the first car I ever bought on the account and what the first car what got me into racing. So if there's any new starters out there who are looking for a car to, to buy which is good at sport races, then I recommend the Carbonaza. Which is uh it's cheap and it, it it's quick. So we've got the Corvette or the Coquette, which is still very nice to this day. The Rapid GT, the famous double clutch car. We've then got the uh Sultan RS, which not that many people use these days, but it's still pretty good and pretty good at drifting at the minute. We've got another custom Comet, which is, uh, I've kept it very simple to make it look, you know, nice and drifty. And uh, you can still make your uh, camber out, you can camber out your wheels still. So, it you know, it looks good for stance meets. And then we've got another Skyline. There was a, there, I was, I was going to do the whole garage Skylines, but... I'm bored of them now. They're, they're, they're not good at racing. Um, not good at wall rides, what I like to do. so. And then we've got the Briosa. Now, this purple is it is the Don. It's not the same purple as my body garage tour, which I showed you earlier. Um, in the last video, sorry. So, But it, it is still nice. And this one is you can get from uh, Los Santos Customs. We've then got the World... World record holding Tropus Rally car, which is famous. It, this is this car is famous and it, and it's brilliant when you when you do stunt races, which are all included dirt. I recommend using it. the The only problem is when you do spin out. When that one time you do spin out, you do spin out. It's not like like a little spin. It's a yeah. You, you get the picture. And we've got another one. I don't even think that one's customized. I don't know why I've got it. I did go through a time of buying the same car twice, so I could have one what looks standard, like I've used it in a in a race, and everyone thinks I've got a standard car, but really it's all upgraded engine and that. I've then got the crew car, um, which is just standard, but it takes one rocket launcher, and the the you can't shoot through it as as well as just a standard car. Um, and you can put four friends, you can put three friends in yourself, so and it's nice. We've then got the Masacro, my favourite sport car. Uh, this 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 car has been the same colour since since I was on PS3 days. Still one of my favourite sports cars to this day. We've then got the 770, which is is you know one of these, but with a wide body put on it, and a bit like the Rapid GT, which is a bit like this as well. Um, and yes, this is this is good as well. You might have noticed that I've got off-road tyres on quite a lot of cars. And that's because of the theory of being able to get around a corner much tighter and quicker um, with off-road tyres on. And then finally we've got the 
Drift Tampa, which is the worst drifting car I've ever seen. But I like it. It's in purple. It looks a bit raster with the uh, black, yellow, and green on it. All right, guys. So that's the Drift Tampa, guys. And finally, we go up the last flight of stairs and show you the last cars, bikes, and vehicles that are left up here. So first, we've got the Omnis with the ironing board spoiler on it, which I thought was quite fun. We've then got the Shataro, which is classed as the Shataro by my French. We've then got the Raptor, which is cool, but it, it, it's terrible. We've then got the Frankenstange, which is nice. It, it is really nice, and you can drift in it, and you can double clutch on it, and it's, it's nice. And we've got the Lurcher from the Halloween DLC. And it does have the, the guy in the back. You can just see him just there. And it, it, it does freak people out even to this day. And then finally, guys, we've got the Tornado Rat Rod. And I've left it in its a rustic effect. And it looks it looks nice. And it's a good car. All right, guys. So I hope you did like the, uh, the garage tour. And uh, it did cost me about $250 million for all the cars. All the cars, bikes, and the uh all the garages initial costs i did spend when the recent when the most recent ca update came out um last month or last year can i even say now um that that update cost me 100 million and i don't even know what i spent it all on um so guys i hope you did like the video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you're new all right cheers